begin with signs of a potential thaw in inter-Korean relations after a high-ranking North Korean delegation's visit to Seoul over the weekend. And now South Korea is calling for regular inter-Korean talks, but what are the chances for additional dialogue? Our Hwang sung reports on the prospects. As the two Koreas prepare for a fresh round of high-level talks, President Park Geun-hye on Monday called on the need for regular inter-Korean dialogue. 특히 이번 고위급 접촉이 단발성 대화에 그치지 않고 남북 대화의 정례화를 이루어 평화 통일의 길을 닦을 수 있도록 노력해야 할 것입니다. Sending a high-level delegation to Seoul on Saturday, Pyongyang said it was ready to hold a second round of high-level talks with Seoul sometime later this month or in early November. South Korea said reuniting families separated by the Korean War will be on top of the agenda. The issue of separated families certainly needs to be brought to the table by us. We are hoping to discuss a wide range of issues that are of interest to South and North Korea. The surprise one-day visit has raised hopes of a new dynamic in inter-Korean ties. In Seoul, for talks with senior officials and Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-se, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Daniel Russell extended Washington's support on the latest developments. I made clear that, uh, as is a consistent element of uh, U.S. policy, uh, the U.S. supports the efforts on the part of uh, the ROK uh, to uh, promote and enhance inter-Korean relations. But President Park noted that inter-Korean ties have sometimes worsened following dialogue, implying it may be too early to judge North Korea's intentions. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.